overnight, opposition to Dick's job scheme will stall. Funeral parlours, stiff arm councils over health issues. And the strikers brace themselves for Gladstone's soccer clash. This is Win News. Good evening. Despite budget predictions of long-term job creation, the Federal Shadow Minister for Employment claims central Queenslanders can expect no change to unemployment levels. Martin Ferguson says the effects will be felt even harder with the removal of job training safety nets. Opposition leader Kim Beasley conceded last week Labor had failed regional Queensland in the lead-up to the federal election. Eager not to repeat the mistakes of the past, the opposition's employment and training spokesman and former ACTU boss Martin Ferguson toured Rockhampton and Gladstone today. Cutbacks to job projects, such as new work opportunities, responsible for the Heritage Village and Arch Park Railway restoration, under attack. Projects that the community wants done and in the process they get people job ready, give them a sense of pride in themselves and their family and their local community. I think it's a great investment. Mr Ferguson says now is a chance for Labor to get back in touch with the electorate, inspecting Rockhampton's community-based skills share program today, something he claims local federal member Paul Marrick has never done. It's almost as if regional Australia is a second-class cousin under the Howard government. With polls showing the federal government still enjoying strong support, the opposition has a job ahead of it, but is already targeting key marginal seats in the regions on the core issues of health and jobs, and pushing the message that the Howard government's own budget predicts unemployment will remain unchanged for the next year. That means you have a permanent scrap heap, a permanent pool of long-term unemployed who've got no hope for the future. And that's when you're going to get the ghettos. And that's when you're going to get the crime and the problems in the schools. Shadow Industry and Regional Development Minister Simon Crean completes the opposition's post-budget roadshow in Rockhampton on Monday. Trent Chapman, Win News.